just thought I'd come on and do a quick extension to the Facebook Live that I've just done because I had originally planned to do a little felt O for Oliver, um, but because there wasn't much glue coming out and I thought it was fake because I decided that I wanted some little spikes to make it like a dinosaur. And then as I was ironing it on here, I thought it'd be nice to have a bit of foliage, like dino land. Anyway, I'm obviously obsessed with this fabric, but what I thought about is that there's some really nice leaves here on the fabric and I have a scrap left over from last week's tutorial. So one of the really nice things you can do with bits of bonder web and scrap fabric is cut out existing shapes. So I thought I'm just going to use a bit of my scrap bonder web and, um, and make some really cool, funky little leaves to then put on the little pennant. So I'm just going to roughly cut the bonder web so it sort of fits on my little shape. I need to cover that leaf. I don't need that much. I'm just going to put my iron over it. So there's a little leaf there that I think will look cute. And then I've got all the little bits of bond web left to do other little bits of foliage and just build it up like that. But if you've got a bit of fabric that you love and a shape rather than trolling the internet and printing it out and then drawing your leaf, I thought it'd be nice just to actually pinch this leaf here. So I'm just going to cut it out and I'm not going to be like absolutely precise to the um, leaf. So I'm just again used a dry hot iron I made sure that it's the gluey side of my bond web that's gone down onto the back of my fabric and I'm just going to cut around the shape that I want. Sorry I keep nudging the, uh, the tripod. And you can just use your artistic license. If there's bits of it you don't like, then you don't have to cut them. And if there's bits of you, bits extra that you want to add, you can do. But I'm just going to use this, this as a base. And then I'm going to build it up from there and just see how it looks on the um, pennant as it is. So I've got some green felt and I've got some teal fabric, but none of the colours really matched. And then to be honest, I can't be bothered to, um, can't bother to go troll through Google and find some nice leaves and get them printed off at the right size because this scale is probably perfect for what I'm doing. I'm going to leave that pink flower on but I'm not 100% sure about that so I might just might get rid of that but we'll see. I'll see what it looks like because there is a bit of pink in the uh, in the dino fabric. So I'm just, any, any bit that I I don't want or I can't be asked to be honest. this cutting out I'm just gonna leave off and I can work into it I'll see what it looks like before I peel my backing off and then if I think I want to trim it any more off I'll do that then in fact oh god I think I might I'm a bit obsessed with this fabric I might use the rest of the little bits I might use them to um, upcycle top and do a bit of free mowing it actually. So this is what I was thinking. I'm thinking about building those leaves up. I think the tones in there are actually got quite nice with the mustard. I don't think it makes it look a bit girly. I think I'll probably want another leaf on there. But anyway, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to just peel it off. This is always the hardest bit. Just make sure that my bond web's stuck. Looks a little bit webby, so I think I, it wasn't quite hot enough with the iron. So I'm just going to run that back over. Allow that glue to re-melt into the fabric. So I'll leave it a couple of seconds so that it cools and it sets again and sets hopefully this time into my leaves. We'll just start it somewhere else. Yes, and I can just see it, if you can just see that. It's like a little sheen and you can sort of see the gritty type honeycomb effect of where the, the bonder web glue was. I'll peel that off. I can see the glue on there. And then pop that into position. I'm just going to check because I don't want it in it. Oh. oh, no, I think I prefer it that way, actually. I'm glad, I'm glad I did that. Right, and then just really nice and gently. So rather than a swooshy, kind of just a nice, gentle press. Just so none of those leaves flick up. So 
were just a really simple way of adding something really nice and decorative. It looked dead clever and really all I've done is just cut it out. Um, but I do like the idea of using that for a bit of upcycling, I think, actually. Might have a play around with maybe some other leaves somewhere else or some tassels. But I think that definitely just transforms it and makes that look a lot more exciting than that boring oh was going to do a minute ago. So just a dead easy way to use up some scraps and just little scrap pieces of your Bonder web. Oh, I don't know how to finish this now. I don't think I've done a live on uh, Instagram. I kind of want to say bye, but I'm not really sure how to do that. Right, let's... Could be stuck. Oh, there we go. 